So good morning students. It is the computer science class. Take 222. Lesson number 6. Recursion. Okay. So now we are going to see binary search algorithm. Here there are the list of numbers. Okay. So among the numbers you have to find the number 32. Got it? Among the numbers you are, you are, you are going to find the number 32. Usually what you will do. If, you, if it is a simple search algorithm means usually what you will do know first you look you see all the numbers are closed assume that all the numbers are closed okay so if you want to search this number one by one means first you will open the first box it is 12 so it is not 32 then you will open the second box it is not 32 okay then you are opening the third box it is not 32 then you are opening the fourth box it is not 32 then you are opening the fifth box it is not 32 then you are opening the sixth box yes it is 32 yes the process is over okay so this is a simple search method now we are going to see binary search algorithm okay that means what we will do now uh, if this algorithm should apply means there is one condition okay all this number should be in either ascending order or descending order. Here all the numbers are in ascending order such that these numbers are eligible for binary search algorithm. Very simple. Among the numbers, okay, first I will choose the middle number. Among the numbers, first I will choose what? First I will choose the middle number. Okay. So if this is the middle number means okay so I'm just uh, randomly choosing a middle number okay so this is the middle number I'm just opening it is 28 okay just just yes, actually all these numbers are visible to you but actually all the numbers are closed okay I'm just opening this box it is 28 such that this number this number this number this number this number will be lesser than 32 am I right Okay, I'm just opening this number. It is in ascending order. I'm just opening this number. If this is 28 means, okay. So below this number, all this number, okay, will not be 32. Okay, got it? So all these numbers are cancelled. From here, all these numbers are cancelled. Because it is less than 32. No need to search here, here, here and all. Anyhow, if you search means, you will get the answer less than 28. So that... You have to search from here to here. Got it? Okay. So among here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 plus 4, 2. Okay. Okay. Among this number, I am going to search one number. Okay. I am going to choose a middle one. Okay. If this is the middle one means, okay, it is, it is a number 36. Got it? Such that. 32 will not be available in here and here and here. Why? This will be the number greater than 36 and this also will be the number greater than 36 such that this number, this number, this number will not be 32. Got it? Okay. So all these numbers are cancelled. Okay. Now, only these two will be available. Among these two one, I am just choosing here middle one let us assume this is the middle one okay i am just uh, seeing i am just opening this is 32 okay yes i got the number okay fine so from this one what i want to say means if you normally search a number means it has maximum number of count you see first box opening second box opening third box fourth box fifth box sixth box opening okay so normal search means normal search means okay it leads to six times whereas binary search means it is how many times first to this one next to this one and third this one it, it leads to three times Okay, so each and every time half of the portion will be cut. Got it? 
each and every time half of the portion is cut and in this part half of the portion is cut such that a mass number of numbers will be going to be rejected so only a few number of uh, boxes only are going to open okay only a few number of boxes only you are going to open and within that limited number of time okay you are going to search the correct number 32 got it so hope you understand what is called binary search got it right now i am going to write the program okay now uh, so i am going to write the program for binary search before that uh, we are going to make a proper plan we are going to make a proper plan yes first here also the same number we are going to find the number 32 okay so there are two steps are there first one is that you have to find the middle number you have to find the middle number okay fine and uh, okay the first step is you have to find the middle number how to find it means very simple the least number is 0 got it so 0 is I mean this 1 0 1 2 3 4 and all index numbers so 0 is the index number so it is the least value and 9 is the index number it is the highest value okay so how to find the middle number means lowest plus highest by 2 is equal to the lowest value is 0 and the highest value is 9 so by 2 is equal to 4.5 okay so the all the index numbers are in integer so 3 4 5 you see all the numbers are in integer here it is a float number so either we have to make it as 4 or we have, we have to make it as 5 what can we do say so, okay I am going to do int that means this 4.5 will be going as 4 got it such that the middle value is 4 got it okay so among these numbers the middle value is 4 so now only I am opening this number remember all the numbers are closed okay this is not visible to you all these numbers are not visible to you okay now now only one number it is visible that is called 28 fourth index number it is 28 got it okay so now i am checking this 28 and that do both are same number or not of course this is not the same number okay right such that if you check this number, this number, this number, this number means confirmly this number won't be 32 because from here all the numbers are less than 32 such that all this one no need to search. Okay, fine. So hereafter you have to, the second part is, okay, the second part is um, you have to check the middle number. C H E C K. Check the middle value is equal to equal to the search number. What is middle value? Middle value is 28. If this 28 is equal to equal to 32. Suppose these two matches means yes, this is the search number. But in this case, this condition is false. So that what we are going to do now? We are going for a new updation. What updation? We are going to create a new least value and we are going to choose the least index. And we are going to create the new highest index. Okay, fine. Now, now onwards, okay, so all these things we have rejected, right? So now onwards, here after this 5 is the lowest index, this is cancelled and this 9 is the highest index, got it, okay. So here after this 5 is the, this 5 is the lowest index and 9 is the highest index, 
okay fine this 5 how it came means 28 is the fourth index so fourth index plus 1 so 28 is nothing but mid value got it you see you see uh, 5 can be written as 4 plus 1 any doubt okay this 4 is nothing this 4 is nothing but mid value so this can be written as mid plus 1 you see while write while writing the program all these things you have to mention in the variable not in the number okay so you want 5 for that you, you have you are going to write 4 plus 1 instead of 4 you are writing mid okay so in program you are going to write in variable only so okay so 5 how it comes means mid plus 1 such that the new index value is 5 and the new highest index is 9 got it okay now what I am going to do now now I am going to do the same procedure what procedure mid is equal to uh, lowest value plus highest value by 2 what is the lowest value lowest value is 5 now the lowest value is 5 now and what is the highest value of course it is 9 so 5 plus 9 by 2 the answer is 14 by 2 14 by 2 means the answer is what 14 by 2 the answer is very very tough of the calculation so the answer is 7 okay at last the answer is 7 such that okay this number is the middle value okay the index number 7 this is the middle value so now mid equal to equal to search number that means what is mid value it is 36 so 36 36 is equal to equal to 32 of course the condition is the condition is false such that now what will happen now uh, 36 after listen carefully this 36 now I am opening this number this number is not 32 such that this is not 32 and of course this number and this number is also not 32 not 32 why because this number will be uh, this number will be more than 32 and this number will be more than 32 such that these two numbers will be cancelled got it such that hereafter the lowest value is 5 and the highest index value is 6 got it now what we are going to do now mm, you see hereafter the new lowest index the new lowest index will be what is it 5 and uh, new highest index will be 6 got it ok so now what will happen now this 5 is the same 5 so no need to change anything for the lowest index and whereas this highest index before that highest index is 9 and now highest index is 6 how it came now very simple uh, this is nothing but um, this we can write it as 7 minus 1 am I right sir why you are using 7 sir means mid value is 7 so I am just writing instead of writing 6 I can write it as 7 minus 1 so 7 means what 7 means is nothing but mid value ok fine so that in 6 means mid minus 1 got it sir so why you are using mid mid means it is a variable to write a program you have to use only variable got it ok right so 5 and 6 is the uh, 5 is the lowest index and 6 is the highest index got it now once again we are going for to search the mid value ok 5 5 plus 6 by 2 so 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 means what it is uh, 11 11 by 2 means the answer is 
5.5 I think so if you take the integer value it will be it will be 5 ok so now it is searching this number uh, the, the open number ok the mid value and this search item both are same or not it will check how it will check the mid value is 32 equal to equal to the search number is 32 yes it is the condition is true such that this mid value is the searched item at last we find out that the index 5 that means the 32 the index number 5 the value is 32 this is the search item this is the search number it was found in the index 5 that's that the search num found in index 5 that's all this is what I am going to find the search in num the search index is found in 5 got it ok so listen so what I want to convey is uh, 32 is found in 5 ok so 32 is a number found in 5 so uh, finally you, are, you have to write the search number found in the index is 5 like that you have to write got it ok now you are going to see the same thing in the program ok So good morning students, you already know about what is called binary search algorithm. In this class we are going to see how this algorithm works in the program. Ok, fine. So always come to main area, array equal to 12, 15, 21, ok all the numbers what you want know, all the numbers you have to give in list. Ok, fine. So, uh, all these numbers you just hide. Okay, I will hide all these numbers. Okay, I will hide all these numbers. Okay, now listen. I am just giving a, a number 32. Okay, then the computer should find whether this number is available in the list or not. Once again, I am saying in the keyboard, I am giving a number 32. The program has to find this number is available in the list or not. The program has to find. If it is available means it is an index number what? For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So if this number is available here means what is the index number? The index number is 5. Finally, okay, so this 5 is the final answer. Got it? 32 is the number, it is found in the list. It is, it is found in which position? It is found in 5th position, 5th index number. So at last this 5 is the final answer. Got it? This is the program. Right. So the, now, now the item number is 32 and here binary search function what is this binary search function this function okay will going to call the definition of binary search such that this value will be transferred to here second variable uh, second uh, argument value will be pa passed to second argument third argument value will be passed to third argument and the fourth argument value will be passed to fourth argument ok now let us see what are the values of these things ok alright first array means 12 to 45 so now array means what it is nothing but 12 to 45 item means what item means nothing but 32 
okay zero means zero then length of array means it is uh, actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
32 only the key value and now the lowest value will be 5 and the highest value will be 9 got it ok listen this is a recursive function so that inside the definition of binary search function this is the definition part in this definition part itself you can find a binary search calling statement such that it is a recursive function got it ok so listen so binary search function will call the binary search definition and uh, array this 12 to 45 will be transferred to here and 32 value will be transferred to key and the lowest value 5 will be transferred to here such that hereafter the lowest value will be not 0 it is 5 and highest value will be the same 9 got it ok so it will come here lowest value is 1 it is 0 sorry uh, last time it is 0 and now lowest value is 5 so 5 is greater than 9 ok this condition is false such that this line will not execute so that it will come here middle is equal to end of low plus high by 2 that means 5 plus 9 by 2 the answer is 14 by 2 the answer is 7 ok and now onwards the middle value is 7 listen and now onwards the middle value is this is not the middle value and now onwards the middle value is 7 got it ok so now you come here uh, if key key means 32 equal to equal to a r of mid what is mid value so a r r of 7 means a array of 7 means it is nothing but 36 so it will check ok how it will check if this 32 is equal to equal to 36 means the condition is false so that this 9 will not be executed so it will come here what is the key value it is 32 and the array of mid means ok what is the mid value mid value is uh, I think it is 36 got it ok so uh, you write here 36 36 ok so 32 is small and 36 is big of course the condition is correct once again I am saying this 32 is small and 36 is big such that this condition is true so that these two lines will be executed or not yes these two lines will be executed ok fine so I told you that ok I am just searching this number I am just opening this number ok if this number is not 32 and of course this number is bigger than 32 so that this number is bigger than 32 and this number is bigger than 32 this number is also bigger than 32 all this number we can strike it out no need such that hereafter the highest value will be the index number 6 got it the lowest index value the new lowest index value is 5 and the new highest index value is 6 ok so for that what it will happen now so only the highest value is changing the lowest value is not changing and the highest index value alone changing so these things you have to uh, done with the help of mid value so highest value will be one number less than the mid value so the highest value will be one number less than the mid value that is mid minus one means 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 highest value is 6 so see here the highest value is 6 I got it ok fine so return binary search array means what array means 12 to 45 
12 to 45 and the key value is what it is 32 and lowest index value is 5 so I am writing 5 and highest index value is what highest index value is 6 so I am writing 6 ok right so this is a calling statement sir how you think this is a calling statement before there is no diff and at last there is no colon such that this is a calling statement this calling statement will going to call the binary search definition such that the first argument value will be transferred to AR and the second value will second argument will be transferred to second argument and third argument will be transferred to third argument and fourth argument will be transferred to fourth argument got it ok such that everything will be same the lowest value lowest and highest will be going to change 5 comma 6 so here lowest will be 5 and the highest will be 6 ok fine now uh, lowest is greater than highest means 5 is greater than 6 ok so 5 is greater than 6 means of course the condition is false so that this line will not execute so it will come here ok so what is this um, lowest plus highest by 2 that means uh, 5 plus 6 by 2 so it is 11 by 2 I think it is 5.5 5.5 will become 5 so now the new mid value will be 5 what is the new mid value it is 5 so come here key value is 32 so array of mid means array of 5 so array of 5 means it is 32 so here I am writing what 32 so 32 is equal to equal to 32 such that this condition is true so that I will return mid I will return what I will return the mid value is 5 so return 5 already I told you no that's how the program is finished listen I told you among this number you have to search the number 32 yes 32 is there what is the 32 index number the index number is 5 that's how the program is over I told you already like that I had for I had to find the number 5 you see here return 5 once the return statement is executes the program is finished that's all so here return 5 so this binary search function value is nothing but 5 this binary search function value is 5 ok so it will come back here this function value binary search function value is 5 this 5 will be stored in res then res is bigger than 0 ok um, such that print print what will happen print uh, what is this print 32 item means it is 32 right so print 32 found at index res found at index 5 this is the answer so you see here at last listen um, if I gave the number uh, so listen so at last what will happen now so 32 is the 32 is the number found at the index 5 it will come like that ok so now we can see here enter search item 32 so 32 is found at the index 5 got it ok enter the search item if you give 32 means the answer will be the 32 is the index found at 5 suppose if you give enter search item 15 means 15 is found at index 1 so if you give enter search item 10 means this 10 is not found in the list so that sorry 10 not found in the array it will come got it ok so finally enter search item 35 so this 35 is not found in the list so that sorry 35 is not found in the array it will come like that so I think uh, I uh, finish my work hope you understand thank you very much 
So, good morning students. It is a competence class. Take 228, lesson number 6, recursion. Question number 14. Write recursive code to compute and print sum of squares of n numbers. The value of n is passed as a parameter. Okay, fine. First, always come to main area. n is equal to enter value of n will be printed so that you are going to give a keyboard input. Okay, the input is 4. The, what you are giving now that input should be a pure integer. So, this 4 will be stored in n. Okay. So, first of all, you should know that what is the meaning of uh, sum of squares of n numbers. For example, if the n value is 4 means, okay, so the answer will be is equal to 4 square plus less than 4 number is 3, 3 square plus less than 3 is 2, 2 square plus less than 2 is 1, 1 square. Okay, so finally the answer will be over. So all these things if you calculate means the answer will be over. So this is called sum of squares of n numbers. So this is what we are going to do in program. Okay, first we are going to get the input. The input is 4 and print. So it is a calling statement. Square sum, okay, square sum of n. What is the n value? It is 4. Such that. So it will search for the square sum function. So this 4 will be transferred to n. So n value is 4 now. Okay. So here if 4 is equal to equal to 1, the condition is false. Okay. So it will, it will come here. Return 4 into 4. That means it is a 4 square, right? Okay. So return 4 square plus... Uh, you see this one is over right so 4 square plus is over now we are going to do 3 square 3 square you see this function trying to do 4 square like that this um, square sum n minus 1 means it will become 4 minus 1 it will become 3 ok so this is a calling statement this will call again the same square sum and now n value will become 3 so to come here, 3 is equal to equal to 1, the condition is false, such that this will not work out, it will come here. So n into n means it is nothing but 3 into 3, that means it is nothing but 3 square, ok. So 3 square plus, already this is over, now 3 square plus this is also over, got it. And now and next it should become 2 square. The 2 how it came? A number less than 3. That means plus square sum n minus 1. n is nothing but n is nothing but 3. 3 minus 1 it is nothing but 2. So square sum of 2. First that this 2 will be transferred to n here. Okay. So n value is 2 now. So square sum of 2. So that it will come here. Uh, so 2 is equal to equal to 1. The condition is again false. So this line will not execute. It will come here. Return n into n. What is the n value? It is 2. So it will execute 2 square. Okay. So this 2 square plus. So 2 square plus this uh, value is also over. At last we are, we are, we are going to do 1 square. This one how it came? The number less than 2. So that plus square sum of n minus 1. n value is already 2. So 2 minus 1 the value will become 1. So square sum of 1. So now this call it is a calling statement. It will trying to call this square sum function. And now the n value is 1 now. So here n value is what? 1. So 1 is equal to equal to 1. Of course the condition is true. Such that it will return 1. I already told you. In a function definition. 
once any one return statement executes means with the exact number so here return statement is working but here there is not an exact number but here return statement is working with an exact number fixed number so the program is over so return 1 means this uh, square sum of uh, square sum value 1 will be over got it so it value is 1 okay so this value is this value is 1 listen very simple still now we are not we are just trying to do this one but still now we are not calculating this one now only I got the answer 1 square value is 1 so that I can get the answer for this one because listen and 1 square value and 2 square value 2 square value 3 square value 3 square value 4 square value so in that case I find the answer for this 1 square the answer is 1 so that I can find the answer for uh, what is this 2 square the answer is what the answer is uh, I think that's uh, 4 ok so it will become 5 so this what is this value uh, 3 square the value is 9 so that the ultimate value of this one is 9 plus 4 plus 1 is what 14 and at last it will execute listen if the full execute on a it will come to here got it ok so at last the 4 square value is 16 such that uh, so it is nothing but a 10 10 plus 4 14 so 14 plus 10 14 plus 10 it is uh, 14 plus 10 it is uh, ok at last if you add everything means the answer is 30 so that 30 will be saved in square sum so hereafter the square sum value is 30 so the 30 will be saved here so at last the 30 will be printed got it so that the square of 4 number is 4 square plus 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square the answer is 13 so hope you understand thank you very much